All right, so I've been in Chicago for a few months, and now it's time to go back to St. Louis and get the motorcycle. Unfortunately, half of my audio didn't pick up, but I promise I made it entertaining for you. Let's go. It is way too early in the morning on October 3rd. It's still nighttime. And I'm about to embark on an eight hour road trip. <laughs> uh, taking the bike back from my parents' house back up to my place in Chicago. And I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't been riding that long, but. I gotta get it back home, so it needs to be done. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Thank you.
dish is getting clean. <laughs> okay, so apparently my camera didn't die. I think it just came unplugged from my battery pack. But anyway, I've been sitting at this gas station for about two hours now because I got caught in a torrential downpour. And of course, that's not on camera, but it happened. <laughs> so now I'm going to try to make it another hour and I'm about halfway and I'm going to get a hotel because I'm miserably drenched. And hopefully this shit charges and doesn't fry out because there's water in all of it. Please don't fry my phone. Is this even charging? I don't think so because there's water in it. Great. Oh, please don't short out my phone. Oh, shit. Okay, let me not plug that in. Oh, please don't tell me I just fried out my phone. Please, please turn back on. Okay, we're just gonna hope that we have enough battery to get there and try to let that shit dry out. And my gloves are soaking wet. I'm freezing cold and it's hilarious that every time I get caught in a downpour it doesn't get recorded <laughs> on camera. I thought that my camera died, which it did, but it had come disconnected from the battery pack that I had it plugged into so it was just going off of its built-in battery power and it died so got a little juice left. Too bad you didn't, couldn't see me uh, getting rained on again. Here's another friend that got rained on. I'm freaking freezing. Oh my god. Like, I feel like I could like keep going and make it home, but I'm too- I'm freezing. Like I was driving in zero visibility rain. And I couldn't stop anywhere because I was literally in the middle of nowhere just by a bunch of like farmhouses. There was nowhere to pull over. There was nowhere on the side of the road to pull over. So I just kept going like 40 miles an hour or less in like practically zero visibility torrential downpour so i am about halfway and i just need to get out of these freaking wet clothes and like warm up and just i was at the gas station for like an hour or actually like two hours and there was nowhere to sit so i was just standing just soaking wet and miserable so i just need to go like i feel like i'm not in the best mental space to keep going today i need to go I'm gonna go for a little further, get out of these wet clothes, and start over tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel by the time we get there. I change my mind a lot. <laughs> if I dry off a little by then, I don't know. But I am f***ing freezing, and Rage of the Machine is playing in my headphones, and it couldn't be more appropriate. It's gonna go nice and easy. I think I forgot to strap my helmet. Damn it. Yeah, my teeth are chattering. Ugh. Damn it, I did forget to do my helmet. Ugh. I'll tell you what though. As soon as I get to this town, I'm stopping and getting a f six pack. Jesus. Ugh. The sun's coming out. Oh, please stay out. That is helping. Yeah, I can't stop my teeth from chattering. There's no way I could make it all the way back like this. I'm freezing. Ugh. Like, I was standing in the gas station, and there was literally, like, a huge-ass puddle that I left on the floor just from standing there from how soaked I was. Like, there's not one single part of me that isn't drenched. My gloves are soaking wet, my boots, my socks, my helmet, my head, my butt. Ugh. My 
it's worth a... I thought I was getting on the highway, but I guess I still have it set for no highways, whatever. As long as it's not raining, I don't care. I just thought maybe the highway, it looked like the storms were gone, but I may end up taking the highway for a little bit tomorrow. I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't know anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. All I know is I'm soaking wet. I need to get out of these clothes. And this is beautiful. So that makes me a little happier. Even though I'm miserably cold, I'm still having a blast. That's the funny thing. But I feel like I'm gonna get pneumonia if I don't get out of these white clothes. Plus, it'll be better to get there tomorrow because if I kept going now, I wouldn't get there until like after six probably. And I don't have the clicker for my new garage and I don't think it would be likely that I'd be able to get it from anyone at that hour. And I really don't want to park my bike on the street because I live on like a main street in Chicago. It just doesn't seem safe. So at least this way I can get there in the afternoon or morning tomorrow and get the clicker from someone. Plus it's Sunday, no one from the rental place is answering me. I have better luck tomorrow on Monday. Man, I really thought I was going to do it all in one day. It's that damn rain. I was making such good time. I swear that rain just like kicked my ass. And I was even like, I should buy some rain gear before I go, but I didn't have enough money. <laughs> so I just took my chances and uh, yeah, it didn't work out so well for me this time. But we made it through it safely, that's all that matters. And we'll go rest and reboot and get up early and hit the road again tomorrow. Right here? Okay. I ended up on a side street in a neighborhood, but whatever. <laughs> turn right, then turn left, okay? Can do that. I guess I'm still on Route 66. That's cool, as long as it's not raining, I don't care. <sighs> back hurts though. I'm also having to wear a backpack for the first time on the bike because I couldn't stuff it in my saddlebags. So I'm just all kinds of uncomfortable at the moment. But still having fun. Really? I'm getting pelted with rain again. Ugh. Oh, it's hurting my legs. Yeah, I'm, I'm like 20 minutes away from the hotel. I'm glad I got a hotel. There's just too many pockets of rain today. Tomorrow's supposed to be clear skies. I can't deal with this anymore. It's too unpredictable today, the weather. They were even saying that on the, on the news this morning. They were like, yeah, it's really weird. There's just like all these random pockets. It's not like one big cell, like storm cell. So it's kind of unpredictable and I've just been dealing with a whole bunch of bullshit. I'm still having fun! Yeah, there's some more bullshit looking clouds right there. <clears throat> Damn. Ugh. These roads are bumpy. That's the only thing about these forward mids. I can't quite get my ass off the seat. Other than that, my legs feel pretty good for this long of a trip. stopped and got a six pack <clears throat> at Walmart. I told my family that I made it to the town where the hotel's in, but now my phone is acting weird. I don't know if it's from the rain. I mean, it's probably from the rain. It keeps turning off and not turning back on. So I don't know if it's like dead or what, but I just plugged it into my battery pack 
I think the hotel is just up here. So hopefully it turns back on. Go check out this <clears throat> hotel. Have a beer. And I'll get gas tomorrow. I don't feel like doing it right now. Oh, there it is. Cool. BP right there so I can do that in the morning. <laughs>